This is home. It's all I've ever known. There's an armed gunman on the loose after what we understand has been a mass shooting. This can now only be described as a terrorist attack. How on earth did we get to that point? I just cried and cried and cried for hours. I wasn't given any time to process it. Gulid Meyer. Gulid Meyer. Gulid Meyer. Gulid Meyer. I found myself in this position where I became a voice for the Muslim community who has struggled to have their perspectives heard. They're living in complete denial. That racism, that hatred that exists in this nation is everything that is us. Kiwis watching this thinking, really, is New Zealand racist? The past year has been incredibly tough. It's had a great toll on my own personal health and well-being. Part of me just really wants to disappear from the country to be unseen. I'm tired of shit, man. But I feel like this was us last year, man. Like, just running on no energy. Yeah, how do This Sunday is the commemoration of the Christchurch mosque attacks. I'm heading down to be with my community and to step back in the limelight. Where do you think New Zealand's at? One year on, bro. Don't you feel like New Zealanders were sick and tired of us? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You can tell, eh? I just want New Zealanders to see that this isn't something that we can just move on from. Cheers, bro. You know, for me, it was really such a tragic incident, man, but I never really expected the way in which I had to show leadership, man. I think you were the right voice for us. We were getting sick of seeing people on That's the news. Yeah, I think that was the catalyst. And we were like, man, these guys aren't saying it how it is, you know? Yeah. But you kind of kept it straight, right? The whole time. You, you guys actually gave me no choice. I was like, yeah. man, I can't do this. And you're like, how can you not? I don't think we could step into your role like that. Nah, man. nah, definitely not. Definitely not. No That's way. That's why we, we just, chose you. We chose you. <laughs> You know? Just making sure that the solidarity and support yeah. isn't just a flash in the pan. That's the thing, you know, like yeah, news yeah. comes in and out so fast these yeah. days that we forget that these things happen. And coronavirus is big now. That's that might big. even overshadow this Overshadow what exactly? Thing, but exactly. we'll see. I'm really worried that if I leave, our voice in the public will be diminished. A part of me wants to be able to support my community to remain here and to be a voice for them. And I'm torn between those two worlds. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. It is one year today since the Christchurch terror attacks. A lot of eyes have been resting on the March 15th Remembrance event, and it's been canceled because of the threat from the coronavirus pandemic. New Zealand is the world's leader in being complacent. In fact, talking about racism is probably just as hard as it was about a year ago. You know, in Wellington, it was so busy. It was such a beautiful day. And just, I don't know, man. I just, just seeing everybody just like trying to get a tan and all of this shit. I don't know, man. It just seemed like for a lot of people, it was just another normal day, nothing, you know? 51 people were killed, right? Nothing's changed. In fact, everyone's forgotten. 
no one's saying that the coronavirus like doesn't matter. You just feel like it's taking a lot away from the message that we're trying to give. You know, this country constantly keeps saying New Zealand lost its innocence March 15th. I lost my innocence the moment I put my hijab on and I was 10 years old. 100%. To be honest, young people have had to bear the brunt of all of this. We've had to step up, but I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about who is going to be able to support you guys in being able to showcase leadership. Isn't it time that we moved forward? How long do we have to keep on saying, oh, we're ambassadors for other people to actually learn about us? How about people actually start taking the first step? To be honest, I don't know if much has changed. I really don't. Am I making a difference? Is what I'm saying really meaningful? See, how are you guys? How's everything? It's been a tough year. It has been a tough year. Yeah. If that commemoration had actually taken place, it would allow that sort of discussion. I think for me, the thing that's really frustrating is having to talk about it constantly, and it just attracts a lot of backlash every time you mention it, nothing's mm. changed. Mm. New Zealand is still racist as shit. You have done something that no one has ever done before because you have given a lot to the young generation, mm -hmm. and they can see someone that is like them, mm. standing up to the mm. government policies, challenging people who are quite hostile. Of course, they will always need you. Yeah. But I think you have already given so much for them to, to carry on from there. That makes me feel better. Yeah, and I mean it. Thank I you. Really do. supposed to be like a memorial thing. Oh, it's got the pictures of everyone, all 51. down in Christchurch and just reconnecting with my community. They have really, really inspired me deeply. And ultimately, they've made me come at peace with the decision that I've made to go overseas to study. The community that I come from has been through a lot. We've survived through war and poverty. So really, for our community, being resilient is something that comes natural and will continue to persevere. There were so many discussions that New Zealand needed to have and coronavirus has really just put all of those on the back burner. We're doing everything we can to reignite those conversations. I just hope the rest of New Zealand comes with us on that journey. <laughs>